Good morning, my beautiful diamonds. Today is Thursday, May 30th. One more day and we'll be in June. Today we're going to talk about how to build your trust and your faith in God and how to learn to depend on Him. You know, how can you trust and have faith in someone that you don't know? In order to build that kind of trust and learn to depend on him, you have to first get to know him. And this requires a deliberate and an ongoing, ongoing effort. You have to put the work in. Now, here are a few ways to help you build your trust and your faith in God. Since everybody's saying you have to trust God, you have to have faith, you have to have faith. How do I get this faith? How? You know, that makes me emotional also because... This is something that I worked so hard. I kept praying for faith. Please help me, Father. I don't know how. I'm trying to trust. The first thing you have to do is you have to read and meditate on the scriptures. That's how you get to know him. Regularly reading and reflecting on God's word, it helps you to understand his character, his promises, and how reliable and how faithful he is. And then there's prayer and communication. You have to develop a consistent prayer life, sharing your thoughts with God, sharing your feelings and everything that's troubling you and all of your concerns. You have to pray and communicate that to your heavenly father through his son, Jesus Christ. And then there's worship and giving God praise. I always praise God for his love, his wisdom, his justice and his power. When you regularly worship, whether it's at a home church, a physical church, or at home on Zoom, you have to regularly worship and praise God and acknowledge all of his goodness and acknowledge his sovereignty. Sovereignty means he has the right to rule. He has the right to tell us what to do and how to live because he created us and he designed us. And then you have to obey and follow God's guidance. Trust God by obeying his commands and following his guidance in your life. The next thing is seek out a spiritual mentor, someone you could have a Bible study with. I offer free Bible studies. We could do it right on FaceTime or WhatsApp, whatever. I have two or three Bible studies right now, and I have another one coming up. That's going to be three. You have to find a spiritual mentor or someone who's going to hold you accountable and someone who's going to be there to support and guide you while you're developing your faith. This is a journey. And you have to also remember to practice gratitude, which so many of us lack gratitude. My son wrote something about why God permits suffering and so much evil in the world. And the way he explained it was beautiful. Humans lack gratitude. We have to focus on the blessings and the goodness of God. All of the great things that he's helped you get out of many jams. We have to cultivate a heart of gratitude. And when we go through trials and challenges, we have to learn to embrace them and trust in God when we go through these difficult times. Knowing that he uses these times, these difficulties, to only make us better and to refine and to strengthen our faith. And then what about learning from other people's testimonies? I know I, I've been on YouTube and I learned, I listened to a lot of people's testimonies who they used to be alcoholics and drug addicts and sex addicts. And when they turn their life over to God and Christ, they go into detail how they managed to do that. So hear and read stories of how God has worked in other people's lives. That also helps you to build your faith and your trust. Another good thing, and I love this, when I look at royalty, my cat, I can't help but marvel at God's creation. Spend some time in nature. Reflect on God's, how majestic he is. And when you look at his creation, you can see his power and his love. It get, it, you know, when I look at all the animals, it, gets, it, it helps me to see Jesus Christ's personality. When you look at how kittens play and how puppies play, you can see that God has a, he has a sense of humor. 
because it makes us laugh. It tells you a lot. The creation tells you a lot about your creator. And then remember to be patient and persistent. Trusting in God is a lifelong process. I hated that word so much, process. But some things are a process. So you have to be patient and persistent in your journey. And when you fall short due to your imperfection, and you will fall short because Jehovah knows there's not a day that goes by that I don't mess up either in my thoughts, in my actions, or in judging people. I tr no, I don't judge anymore. I used to when I was a Jehovah Witness, not anymore. I just uh, give my uh, observation and I, may, I give opinions, which we know opinion is nothing more than just that, even though I try to base all of my opinions on facts, you know. But when we seek forgiveness... We have to address areas of our hurt and our sin and allow God to restore you and allow God to, to heal you. And the, the uh, also, it's very, very important, please hear me, when I say this, surround yourself, find a community. Surround yourself with other people who are on God and Jesus Christ team because they will be able to support and encourage your faith. Now, if you're hanging out with people who are on Satan, the devil's team, and people who are living satanic lifestyles, that's not going to help you build your faith. And you have to keep in mind, my beautiful diamonds, that building faith and trust and learning how to depend on God, it's a gradual process. So start with small steps. And as you experience his faithfulness and you see how he comes through for you, how he's loyal and how you can trust him, your trust and your faith is going to grow. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And when you show that you trust, you trust God to do the best for you. You don't have to worry about things. When you ask God for peace in the situation that you may find yourself in, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Just take it to your father. He got you. And if you go back to worrying about it, then that's implying that you don't trust that God is big enough powerful enough or loving enough to take care of you and to do what's best for you. <clears throat> Believe, my darlings, and you will receive. All right? So that's how you go about getting your uh, trust and building faith because that was the hardest thing in the world for me because God and Christ is a man, and I've had men let me down all throughout my life and, and, and I'm like, all of, and, and, and you know what also freaked me out is that I had no idea that it was so easy when people are going through so many problems and we always do things the hard way. When all we had to do was go to our Heavenly Father through His Son, Jesus Christ. And yes, believe me when I tell you my beautiful diamonds and my Hershey kisses, this is real. When I saw how God stepped up and I kept praying and praying hard for this faith. What is this faith and this trust? Because I, I don't think mine's is there. I said I used to pray and nothing seemed to happen. And a lot of the times nothing happened because I didn't have that faith and that trust. The Bible says if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, go outside when you get a chance and find the smallest pebble, the smallest little pebble that you could find. Or if you could get your hand on a mustard seed, you see how small it is. If you have faith, just the size of a mustard seed. Jesus Christ says, stand back and let me go to work. Watch how he handles it. Jehovah, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are amazing. And humans don't have to go through it, go through all that they're going through. And we, we think everything has to be hard. And it's just that easy. And this is all I have time for today when it comes to your daily devotional I just felt that it was very important to try to help you to learn how to get this faith and this trust. You can't trust and have faith in someone or depend on someone that you don't know. So get to know him. I have my Bible study uh, a Saturday, every Sunday, Betty, at said Sunday, 12 o'clock on Zoom. I always post the information so you can show up if you choose so you don't even have to leave your home. The password and the code is all there. I, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.
I love you. Jehovah loves you and Jesus loves you so much. Have a great day.